I'm back with another album review. Today's review is on 11 12 21, live in studio in Nashville by William Duvall. This is the second solo album by William Duvall, and it's a follow up to One Alone, which I reviewed last week. This album was recorded in one day. The day in question is November 12th, 2021. It was recorded at Welcome to Studio 1979 Studio in Nashville. This means that the title is not a misnomer. Granted, I've only been to Nashville once back in September of 2006. Well, I would like to go back someday, mainly because I wanted to visit the Lane Motor Museum. Well, that's a different story. The album was produced by, by William Duvall, who also forms uh, lead vocals and guitar. Uh, William was not the only musician who performed on this album because we also had Jeffrey Blout on bass and backing vocals and Grayson Necrutman on, on drums. The album was engineered by Chris Morrow. However, there was no mixing involved since it was recorded directly to disc in one day. The album was released on June 10th of this year on DVL Recordings, so it's been almost three weeks since this album was released. The songs were published by Ultramad L... By Ultramad Music LLC and Last Leg Music. What's interesting is that the first 500 copies uh, have been signed by William Duvall himself. And as you can see, uh, mine is uh, mine is one of the signed copies. This means that this is worth more than a regular copy that isn't signed. But I'm not going to sell this since I'm a collector. Unlike William's first album, uh, which was mostly centered around acoustic rock and folk rock. This one is mainly in the realms of hard rock and alternative rock, with some elements of grunge. There are a few songs that are re-recordings of songs that are on One Alone, but the majority are new songs. We'll get back to this when we discuss the songs. Speaking of which, let's do that. This album starts with The Last Light. Just by listening to this song, you notice that it's in the realm of hard rock. This is a major contrast to William's previous album. This is a great song. It starts the album off quite well. And so that is, is The Three Wishes. It's actually a re-recording of a song from One Alone. I already went into detail about it when I reviewed One Alone. I will say is I think this version is even better than the one on One Alone. You follow up with Unbreakable. And one thing I forgot to mention is that if you were to listen to this album, you will hear an echo since the album was recorded all in one day and there is no mixing whatsoever. I read on Williams' website that the album is as raw as it can get. Now that's followed up by Fire Come Down. I don't have to go into detail about this song, but I will say it's one of my favorite songs from this album. I also like the guitar riff that William performs. Up next is Rock Slide. This song was actually released as a single prior to the album's release. And it's very heavy thanks to William's guitar riffs. On top of that, it's also my overall favorite song from the album. Next song is called So Divine. And the song in particular has a fast pace to it. And I think it would fit well if, you know, if it were used for a scene of a movie or a show where a character is driving really fast. As that is White Hot. It's a re-recording of a song from One Alone. And I went into detail about it when I... I reviewed that album. Personally, I think this version is even better. This album ends with Flying Blind. After listening to this song, I think it's the perfect song to end the album with. It also fits within the album's overall tone. There's currently no info on how well this album did commercially, considering how recent it is. However, it seems that most people who have listened to it really like it. As for my opinion, I think this album is even better than One Alone. It's an, it's an interesting change of pace for William to go from acoustic rock in his first album to hard rock with the second one. This transition to hard rock makes the album sound more energetic than its predecessor. I highly recommend this album, and I will include it in my video on the best albums of 2022, so look out for that. If you want a copy of this album for yourself, you can always get it from William's merch store, you know, along with some other cool stuff, including his first solo album. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Now this is the part where I question you. Have you listened to 11, 21, 11, 12, 21 Live in Studio in Nashville? If so, what are your thoughts on it? What's your favorite song from it? 
You think William Duvall made the right made the right decision to go from acoustic rock to hard rock with a second solo album? You think he'll do any more solo work going forward? Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell to notify of future uploads. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon with another video.